This is a river that was very, very straightened back in about 1800. We have a map from the 1790s showing just how meandering and wiggly this river was and how straight it is now. And when we were looking at the, the original plans of this, we could see where the river really wants to go. And, and it's down in the bottom of the valley and meandering really quite dramatically across the floodplain. Um, so we've tried to mimic that in as much as we can in a modern day when we've got you know roads and bridges and things which we don't want to flood and simply important areas of farming that are very important. So there's a very important um, silage field just downstream from here where we wouldn't want to meander through because it's key to the farming business. So we've had to meander around that if you like or just leave the area there. So it's very much working, it's the art of the possible. Well, what we've done is we first of all measured, obviously, the flows in the river. And there's very good mathematical relationships between flow and the, the amplitude of a bend, if you like, the amplitude of a, of a meander, which is just a bend. Um, but then we have to work with reality. We can't go into areas like, you know, there's a rather important main road just over there. We can't undermine that. You know, there's important areas. So we've tried to work within reality, but working from very good hydromorphological principles. So what we've got here, as I said, in this particular area, we've probably increased the length 35%. The next bit down, we've probably only increased the length 10%, much more shallow meanders. But this one, we've got the opportunity here with the area we've got to put some really tight bends in. And as a result, the river, you can see here, has just really changed, really lovely fast flowing bits, deep bits, etc. What we've got here probably is, is uh, recreating the floodplain. We, as scientists, we talk about reconnecting the river to the floodplain. Um, so that's what we're trying to do. So as the water level rises, it'll flood across into these areas and they're naturally got dips and hollows. And we've left the old river course here as a series of ponds, actually. So they're separate, very different uh, invertebrate fauna to the ones in the river, actually. It's very, very different indeed. We haven't done anything else. We haven't moved anything in this area. The river has shifted the gravels itself. The river has re-meandered, the plants have come in um, themselves, we haven't added any for any point of view as well. So this is natural regeneration going on around here. <laughs> 